Hello friends, my name is Alex and I'm from Education Galaxy. Today we will explore how to calculate distance on the number line. And for today's adventure, we're traveling to Matopia's track team, where Coach Natalie will show us why it's important to measure distance and how to do it using a number line. So buckle up your seatbelts and let's go! Hi, I'm Coach Natalie. I coach the track team here in Mathtopia. Distance is very important to us. It helps us measure distance as we run and it helps us compare how fast and how far we ran. When measuring distance, it's helpful to use a number line. Number lines can have points on them. Look at this point A. It's at the position of four. And this point B, what position do you think it's at? That's right, it's point 12. Now, let's find the distance from A to B. If you start at four, how many hops on the number line would it take to hop all the way to 12? Go ahead, count the hops. What answer do you get? One way to calculate it is to count those hops, but another way is to subtract. 12 minus 4, which gives us 8. So I know point A and B are 8 units away from each other. You're doing great. Let's try some practice. The points on the number line represent the locations of Kara and the finish line. Come on, Kara, you can do it. What is the distance between Kara and the finish line? I'll give you a second to try and figure it out. What do you think? Eight, that's right. Did you count the hops? You could also do 17 minus 9. So we know Kara is eight units away from the finish line. Now let's try this problem. The points on the number line mark the two ends of the running shoe. What is the length of the running shoe? Oof, P-U, who left their stinky shoes here anyway? Okay, anyway, go ahead and see if you could tell how long the shoe is. Do you know? That's right, it's four units long. That's because it ends on 25 on the number line and it started at 21 and we know 25 minus 21 is four. Great job. You did it, woohoo, oh yeah, hooray. You learned how to find distances on the number line. You know, number lines are actually hidden on things all over your house that are used for measurement. Tape measure, that's a number line. Ruler, number line. Yardstick, it's a number line. Piece of cheese, okay, just kidding. That's not a number line. But you know what I mean. Number lines are all over the place and a great way to measure. I've got to run. Have a great day and keep on measuring. And now you too can measure distance on the number line. Can't wait to see you next time for our next adventure. Toodaloo!